his dementia's increased. He's, um, he's now not able to come out of the nursing home, but all of the people in the nursing home are now part of his life. He knows them and he recognises them as people who are now in his life, people who care for him. I'm almost now like an advocate for him. I make sure that his hair's cut and I make sure that his fingernails are clean and I make sure his clothes are labelled and that his clothes are in good condition and that he has deodorant and he has soap and, and, and he's got uh, shaving material, all the things that the nursing home, if he was by himself or if someone who didn't care looked after him, then his life wouldn't be so good. And that's what I can do for him. And that's what I feel good about that I can still do. Dementia is one of those diseases where when you, fi when you finally realise that the dementia has set in, you look at them or treat them in a different way. That is, I never argue with my husband. I could actually bring him into reality after he was in his reality. So I could say, for instance, he would make outlandish statements like one of his children were dead. And I'd say, oh, how did that happen? And he'd say, well, he was killed in a car crash. And I'll say, well, the last I heard of him, he was in Singapore working um, and suddenly he would say, of course he's in Singapore working. Oh, I must have dreamt that. Or uh, So his reality, he understands his reality if you can bring him back to that reality kindly.